And so let's look at Elliot Kipchoge. He ran a marathon in a astonishing time of one hours, 59 minutes and 40 seconds. Unofficially, but still an amazing performance. He relied on aerobic glycolysis for his main source of energy production. But please remember one thing, just because you have a main system that is active does not mean that all the other systems are not working. Trust me, Elliot Kipchoge has a very high capacity to oxidize fatty acids. This is the foundation on which he can run fast. But primarily during his race, he will be using energy that comes from once again glucose and so this time once again glucose gets converted into pyruvate however this time instead of generating lactate pyruvate will get converted into acetyl coa this already will happen within the mitochondria this is why mitochondria are very important for endurance and so in the mitochondria after pyruvate gets converted into acetyl coa this enters the tca cycle or the krebs cycle then we have the electron transport chain and at the very end we have atp specifically 32 molecules of atp per one molecule of glucose 